guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking on my video if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for clicking i just never thought i'll come back i'm making my second appearance in this channel and i must say guys the way you've been commenting the way you have turned up in this channel i really appreciate it so if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back again thank you thank you you surely won't be disappointed and if you are new to my channel my name is Khane and i am a Mutsuana young lady living her life here in the uk i have been here for a couple of months now and i've been working as a staff nurse here in the uk my channel is mainly about nursing life in the uk nursing internationally travel vlogs beauty and fashion interviews and all the amazing things that you may think of so if that's any of the things that you might like or that you think you might benefit from do consider subscribing click on the subscribe button below like share comment and most importantly click on the notification bell that whenever i post a new video you get notified as promised in my previous video i am going to be sharing with you guys the requirements that you actually need for you to relocate as a nurse from Botswana coming into the UK. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get right into the video. So, right, let's get to it. The first thing that you need, you need to be a qualified nurse in your country. You need to have went to school to study nursing. Um, so if you are in Botswana and you have studied in IHS and UB, you do qualify to start on this process that's the first thing that you need and then the second thing that you need you need to be registered as a nurse in your country you need to be registered with the council that is there in your country so for Botswana, you need to be registered with the nmcb to renew our licenses that's where you know we all know where we register so you need to be registered with the nmcb that's another thing because you're gonna need the nmcb to actually verify that you are a nurse so that's what you need you need a valid license so that's why i'm i'm saying you need to have a full registration with your nursing council in your country that's another thing and then the third thing that you're gonna need is English, an English exam. An English exam to actually check your English proficiency. It needs to check whether you can communicate, you can listen, you can write, and you can read English. So there are two tests that you can actually choose from and that's the oet and the alt exam these two exams for you as a nurse they do serve the same purpose but the structures are different in the sense that the oet is for um healthcare professionals that's the doctors nurses dentists dietitians pharmacists you 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 name it and as for the arts, for the arts, I think it's it's more of a general exam as compared to the OET because even a student who wants to go and study abroad can actually write the arts exam. So that's the two exams that you need to choose from. I'll try to do a separate video on like a full detail of the difference between uh, the two tests because I've had my share of both exams. I wrote I initially started with the out exam and then I failed it and then I went for the OET so I'll do uh, I'll try to do a separate video and then try to explain in more detail but again it all depends on you and it all depends on the money that you have budgeted at that time so the OET exam is like I've mentioned before it's for health professionals so the content of the exam is going to be mainly nursing things is going to be nursing scenarios is going to be um scenarios about a clinical setup that you might or that you might have came across as a nurse during your nursing 
whatever your 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 nursing experience so it's just like clinical setting scenarios that they use yeah and then i i spoke about the fact that it's for healthcare professionals and i spoke about the fact that the scenarios are going to be nursing based and i the third thing that i'm gonna speak about the oet cost um i think 584 australian dollars so depending on the rate at the time of payment i can't give you a specific amount but i would love to think it's somewhere between 4.8 and 5.5 at the moment because when i wrote it it was somewhere around 4.8 uh, that's almost five that's almost five thousand but then with the with the recent exchange rates and everything i think it should be something more than five thousand now so it all it will all depend on the amount of money or the the rate at the time of your payment so oet five thousand pula exam fee is just the fee on its own so it's non-refundable it all depends on you whether you pass it or you fail it five thousand is just the exam fee and then another thing about the oet they do have a center now in Botswana, and i think it's in both university and abm university so i think when you book you get to choose which location you actually want to go into um but i think one of the one of the sites that's like the location only offers oet and computer which i'm not too sure about but i'll do explain in detail in a separate video that i promised already and then let's go to to the isles the isles exam you do book through um british council and it's 3.5 if not 3.2 last time i checked it was 3200 pula exam fee and the thing with with the art that i've realized is that people book because uh, of the fact that even students who want to go and study abroad they write it you find that it's very difficult to to have like recent dates or to get a proper date you find that um october you can find that the next three months ads could actually be fully booked so it's all up to you to choose between the two exams so as long as you pass as long as you pass this one of these you are good to go again in a separate video i'll try to explain which one actually um like the 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 the, the pass rates or the pass grades that you actually need to achieve for the two uh for you to register with the nmc yeah nmc uk yeah so that's another thing that's the english exam already i've mentioned three things you need to be qualified you need to be registered with your nursing council back in your country and you need to pass the oet or the arts exam either one any of them and then the fourth thing that you're gonna need to do is um verification you need to be verified by your nursing council in your country um because what's gonna happen is you're gonna need to go to the online portal of the nmc uk start your online registration and then upload your documents after uploading your documents um once you have passed your english exam they will they the nmc uk will send an email to nmcb to actually ask them so we are meeting so and so person her name is han and she's saying she's registered with you guys so we just want to verify if that's true and if you have her in your records that's what verification means 
and then once you've been verified it will then allow you to be able to book another exam that is the cbt exam um a cbt exam i think it's around 83 pounds so that's somewhere around 1.3 I think 1,300 bula or 1,500 bula. So the exam again, you get to write it back home. You get to book it online. But yeah, there is a center where you actually go and write. The center is somewhere around Commerce Park. You book online though. So that just a center for you to go and write. Yeah um that's another thing so after your cbt exam you would um upload your okay it will automatically update in your online portal that you have started with the nmc uk once that's finished it will automatically update itself that you've actually passed the cbt and then you do like minor things like well not minor other things like um the what do you call it the um, police clearance you actually need to go to the police station where you actually upload that in the nmc uk portal or the system to actually show that you don't have any convictions you don't have any criminal records you don't have any bad history yeah because um I, I i i would like to think that if you are in nursing you will know that our profession is very particular about things like that like having a criminal record and everything they have to because you're gonna be dealing with people's lives so they don't want to risk anything i would say so um that's that um and then once that's sorted you have to start looking for an agency now an agency that's going to help you with setting up interviews with potential employers um uh, that they are going to they literally serve as a mediator between you and your employer so they set up interviews they tell you um what time the interview is they tell you which trust you're gonna be working for uh and they sort of like facilitate the relocation thingy because they will be giving you like a package like a, a relocation package so agency what they're gonna do they are going to um help you uh, with interviews organize interviews for you um and then once you are there with um, with your trust you get an offer letter once you get an offer letter you um you get to sign it and then you get what is called certificate of sponsorship that is going to reflect in your visa that that they are going to be sponsoring you um that they're going to be sponsoring you um within the three years usually it's three years you get a three years contract and then it will be up to you after three years whether you want to renew it or you want to go to another trust you want to go to another hospital but yeah i think i've i've tried to like summarize everything but with time i'm just going to pick them one by one bit by bit like stage by stage so that you get to understand what you're gonna do because i think it doesn't become as informative as i wanted to, to get to you um because obviously guys i want to really help people somebody who helped me this who helped me with this was helping me for free and i never got to pay her anything shout out to her I don't want to mention her name but shout out to her hey so yeah i want to help you guys i'll try by all means to be as consistent and as consistent as possible so just try to bear with me guys but yeah that's the whole summary of coming here in the uk 
so what i can advise you guys is go write your oet or your arts exam go and write you need dedication and another thing that you're gonna need you're gonna need money you're gonna need money money guys sacrifice sacrifice and if i can tell you when i came here when i was in the process i wasn't going out i wasn't going out you know when i started working i made it a point to say at least i should go out once a month spoil myself go for ball rips night day and everything my dear in this process you might have to cut that off you might have to sacrifice something i cut my hair because um when i was doing my hair i think that lady was way too good that i could actually spend like 350 pula in a month for hair so you need money make sacrifices cut off things that you need because i'm sure some people might be thinking oh that's a lot of money my dear it is so worth it and i must say you need to sacrifice something if you are the type to go out every single month you need to cut that off you need to dedicate this journey at all costs you need to save money i know our salary back home is not enough we've got loans we've got things that we're dealing with we've got families to take care of but just try to save the little that you are saving every month it does make a difference so you need money because every bit of this process needs money you need money for tests you need money for traveling and i must say we are very blessed to be having this center in Botswana because OET initially it was offered outside the country only so it's either you went to Zimbabwe or you went to South Africa Cape Town Durban or Johannesburg even Johannesburg center is it's, it's I think it's new it has less than three years operating now people used to travel to Durban travel to Cape Town it's not like these people have money they don't have money they dedicate that time they dedicate that money so save 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 um and then another thing you need time you need to sacrifice your time because obviously this is something that you're going to be doing part-time imagine you're working clinic or a hospital I was working in marina but i was doing things part-time i was writing my exams got you off time i was writing my exams during my spare time i was going to these bo nmcb spare time sane. so you need to sacrifice you need to put time aside for this process because it's going to drain you you're gonna need it right um so that's another thing and then you need to be emotionally ready for this process because it's draining um i think this is probably another story for another day if i can tell you how much i've spent to actually get here some people they do write and pass at one go good to them good for them but uh, you never know you never know what life has has for you i've spent I've, I've i've it's another story for another day but i've wrote these exams i used to fail at some point my family were worried that i'm going to find myself wasting money on this process because i'll write i'll fail i'll write i'll fail i'll write i'll fail but you know what if you want it you can get it right you need to be emotionally ready because it's going to need you to study you're gonna need to sacrifice your time you're gonna need to sacrifice your money you're gonna have to sacrifice almost you know everything for this process so yeah i guess that's like a bit of summary of if you think that you need um start on this process so yeah guys thank you so much for clicking on this video i think you be like that thank you oh goodness let's wake up let's i know our profession 
I appreciate you as much, you know, but you know what? Just get up, do this. If this is something that you want, if you want to relocate, get up, start now, start now and do it. Start now. It doesn't matter how many years you take. It doesn't matter the amount of money or the amount of time it's going to need you to save up for this trip. It doesn't matter. Just start, start so guys thank you so much for tuning i think and i hope that that the video or the things i've said in this video are enough to actually help you get started let's do this guys comment down below ask me questions on this video if you want to know anything ask here ask ask i'm here to help you guys i'm here to help Adana. So guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I really, really, really look forward to be seeing you again in my next video. I don't know what I'm going to talk about, but see you guys in my next video. Bye.